Hey, are you almost done in there? We've got like 15 more minutes, so we need to hurry and get to... The... Wow. You look... No, you are... Here is fine. Uh, look, we just need to hurry and get to the place. My family hates people that are late, and if they find out you made me late, they're gonna automatically think our relationship is fake. Which it is, but we don't want them knowing that. Master Darling, the limo is outside for you both. Ah, well, no time for dilly-dallying. Hurry up, let's go. Also, here. These are possible questions that my parents and family may ask, and these are the response that you will answer them with. It's a lot of questions because they want a lot of answers. Don't want you to improvise anything, say exactly what I wrote down, and everything will be fine. Good evening, Mr. Darling. Mr. Darling's partner? What? Don't tell me you've never been in a limousine before. Really? They're only like $200 to rent out every hour. It's really upsetting how poor this world is. We're here, Mr. Darling. Thank you, Mr. Bertram. You're always a pleasure to be around. You look shocked. Is this the first time you've ever been to a ball before? Trust me, once you get inside and meet with the people, it won't be a fairy tale anymore. A question? Is it about the pay? Look, we'll discuss it after, I promise. The answers? What's wrong with the answers I've given you? Look, I'm just giving you the responses they would want to hear. You might not want to say it or agree with it, but I need to make sure that they believe me and trust me when I say I have a significant other. If you're hungry, they have an hors d'oeuvres table and a dessert table that you can go mingle around. Also, the people here have a silver and sharp tongue. They know how to push your buttons. Don't fall for their trickery, okay? Hello there. And who might you be? Mr. Darlings. Oh, I didn't know he had a partner. Hmm, how long have you two known each other? I've never heard about you. His... secretary? Wow, I didn't know he was in need of someone so poor. I said I didn't know he was in need of someone so intelligent. He and a secretary? You must have a lot of work cut out for you. Oh, tell me. Do you like the hors d'oeuvres? The food? I made it all myself in my palace. Thank you. Oh! Oh no! My bracelet. You are such a kind soul. You know what? How about you keep it? As a little memento of us becoming friends. Oh, I'm sorry. My little bracelet may mean nothing to you. Since your lover is Mr. Darling, you may be used to more expensive gifts. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you so much. I'll meet you again later. Bye now. <laughs> Darling, can you come over here for a moment? 
Mom? Dad? This is my significant other. Oh my! They're incredibly nice to look at. <laughs> Wait, your secretary is your significant other? Yes. Is there a problem with that, Father? Out of all the people we picked for you, Prince Damien, Miss Rose, and you choose a secretary, do they even make as much money as you do? Father, I don't see how that's an issue here. I love them. That should be all that matters. Oh, Poppycock. Hey, you. When did you two meet? How long have you two known each other? When did you start developing feelings for my son? What's his favorite color? The night of his 19th birthday, what did he do that he was embarrassed of? Eee? What is- Dear, please, you kind of pop a blood vessel. It's obvious he's paying this person. I would never. I love them too much. Why would I ever need to pay someone to pretend to be in love with me? You've got your smarts for me, boy. I know how you work. I will not stand here another second in the midst of your secretary. Bye. I'm so sorry, son. I'll go talk to him. Yeah, that was him in a good mood. Anyway, before we get to the dance, we should mingle around and I can get you acquainted with everyone. There are some people here that I want you to meet. They're very nice, and they're very open, and they know about our situation, so... You rich! How dare you! 